Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Today we're going to revisit an older build and we're going to talk about this. But first, I have a shop card shout out that I want to get to. Y'all know Butch from Butch's Basement Builds and this awesome 67 Chevelle here. We did a shop card swap and I got Butch's in the mail and hopefully mine's there or is going to get there really, really soon. But anyway, if you guys don't know who Butch is, there'll be a link down in the description. There's an email right there if you'd like to get one of these cool shop cards. Give him a shout. Go over there and check out his channel. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a sub. Whatever. Like I said, the link will be in the description. Butch, thank you for the shop card, my brother. Don't worry about the wrinkles. Willow and I had a dispute over who gets the shop card. Talk to you later. Alright guys, so last year... Craig over at Mop Modeler held his 48 hour group build and I did the 55 Chevy Street Machine. Now last year it looked a little bit different as you can see from the picture here and um, the paint didn't come out all that great although it looked pretty good on camera. It, it wasn't all that fantastic. I wasn't pleased with it and I knew even after I finished the build that I was probably going to rip the car apart and I was probably going to repaint it. Well, here she is right now. This is what she looks like. You guys have probably seen the short of me doing the bare metal foil. And it's the combination of bare metal foil and Molotov chrome pen. And uh, I think she came out pretty darn delicious. I love this yellow. This is uh, Tamiya TS34 Camel Yellow. And uh, shot right out of the can. Didn't even decant it and put it in the airbrush this time. I just went ahead and um, shot her right out of the can. And I'm thinking she looks pretty good. It's just a shelf queen. It's going to go on the shelf, so it's built, you know, uh, pretty simply. It's It doesn't even have any plug wires or anything like that. I don't even think there's radiator hoses on there, but we're going to look under the hood here in a second. We're going to check it out. So yesterday I reached out to a few friends and uh, asked them, flames or no flames and the general consensus was no flames so if you know this kit and the flames that it comes with originally when I built it it had flames and um, when I stripped it I had to seek out a new set of flames so I bought a whole uh, another kit off eBay really really cheap because the box was crushed and um, with the intent of just using the decals but you know, I do love this kit. It's one of my favorite kits. You guys have heard me say, you know, the Chevy Badman 55 Street Machine. I've got a few of these kits in the stash as well as the 56. And now I have the new release that is essentially the Badman as well. Without all the decals. So anyway, let's take a look under the hood. And uh, see what we got. I did put the clear scoop on. So we'll look here. Real simple. See, it doesn't even have radiator hoses, no plug wires, nothing. And like I said, originally this was built for the 48-hour group build. Ooh, I didn't glue the body down either, apparently. And uh, that's it. And that's pretty much all it is, you know. Just wasn't really happy with it when I originally did it, but I knew I wanted to redo it and I've been in a funk lately so uh, I took the opportunity to take this back out it had been sitting there stripped clean and I decided to uh, prime it up and paint it and um, put it all back together and get her on the shelf like I said it's just going to be a shelf queen and uh, for that purpose I'm pretty satisfied with it Alright guys, I think that's all I got with this, but I wanted to remind you guys, if you are in uh, Michigan or the surrounding states, don't forget about Detroit Area Auto Modelers, Motor City Madness 22, and that is going to be March 26th at the Macomb County Expo, uh, Expo and Sports Center. So check them out. Alright guys, thanks for watching.